Game time. Do I even want to know? This game is free on Steam, and usually that's all you have to tell me. A free game that will only take about one to two hours of my time? Sign me up for that. But you know what, let's backtrack just a bit. Shepherd of Light was released on September 4th, 2019, and was made by Bad Seahorse. They were a group of students that went to JCPU, and this was their senior thesis. I'm sure some of you are looking at this as a red flag, but I disagree. Personally, I'm more interested in seeing what a new perspective can bring to the table. Also, and I cannot stress this enough, it was free. The summary on Steam describes this game as A student-made game where you control a young shepherd who loses his sheep and must brave a wolf-infested forest to get them to safety. Rescue sheep with different special abilities and direct them to solve environmental puzzles. And I definitely was a shepherd who lost his sheep and had to brave a wolf-infested... Oh, God! The wolves look like this? I'm out. But seriously though, look at these hellhounds. Thankfully, they don't cause you to bleed out, but if dogs look like this in The Last of Us Part 2, I'd be more inclined to play it. Putting that aside for a second, I really do enjoy the puzzles in this game. They became intricate, but none of them felt too difficult. The game has to be played with a mouse and keyboard, but that makes a lot of sense when you look at how the game is played. You can send sheep to different locations and reclaim them with the click of a mouse. White sheep don't have any powers, but there are electric sheep, fire sheep, shadow sheep, and golden sheep. You need to rescue the main sheep to move on to the next area, and when you do, that sheep will become integral to the next puzzle. It sounds simple at first, but when you get farther into the game, your flock becomes huge. Look at all these sheep. Oh man, I don't know what I'm doing. Each sheep's power is explained to you when entering new areas, which is a big help. After that, it comes down to you needing to solve these puzzles. And like I said before, they can be a doozy in later areas. Something cute as well, the sheep in the opening menu are replaced with new sheep as you get more of them. I have to say, I've really fallen in love with the atmosphere of this game. The music, the character models, and the puzzle solving are all very relaxing. It feels like a great game to play in between a 10-20 to 20 hour game, just to unwind when you want something short to play. My only problem is that I got a bit lost in later areas because of the level design. I felt like I was missing a sheep, but I was able to find my bearings. All in all, I would definitely recommend this game. It's short, sweet, and makes you feel warm, fuzzy, and challenged. I give this game 4 out of 5 Hellhounds from the Depths of Hell. Okay, so I might sound crazy. That remains to be seen. But what if we engineer a machine? You are not an engineer. That allows us to experiment on humans and sheep. Both illegal in New York. To create a human and sheep hybrid. An affront to God. That we will call sheeple. Matt, have you googled the word sheeple? Oh, God, no.